Hey, what up with everybody? Hope you're doing great. Welcome back to another Stony How To. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a steamroller. That's right. For those of you that don't know what a steamroller is, it's basically a tube. It's got a bowl up top, big ass hole, and a big carb so you get max airflow, which leads to max high so just science now you don't have to use a huge tube like this but you know how we do it here on stony vision doing big things so we're gonna get right into the video and i'm gonna show you exactly how to make a steamroller at home easy now i'm gonna show you three different things that you could use to make the steamroller and make sure you stick around to the very end I'm also going to show you how to make a sploof. Now, I know some of you are like, what the hell is a sploof? Sploof is basically something that hides the weed smell. So for those of you that got to hide it still, you know, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use one of these tubes in order to hide your weed smell. So stay tuned to the end. So the first method I'm going to use is one of these socket wrenches. This is one of the easiest ways, I think. This is for people that, you know, don't have a bowl laying around and they want to just make a quick smoking device. This is perfect. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Now, I wouldn't suggest using this method unless it's last resort because a lot of these things, the metal, the coating on it, could have like poison toxins when, when it's heated to a certain degree. So keep that in mind. Don't heat this bitch up. Don't use it over and over. First thing you want to do is make a hole. Usually you do it with the paper towel roll, you know. So it's about that big. You want to come off about that much from the end. Grab a pen and start making a hole. Now don't go too crazy because you don't want to make it too big. It doesn't really matter, but you want as less of an air gap as you can. So this is how you do it easy boom and pens are perfect because they're already round look at that so now that you got your hole take this i like to get the ones that got this little indention on it too which makes it fit there easy and then you just push it in there done check for air gaps which i know there's none perfect a little bit of the weed that I'm smoking. I think it's called Boss OG. It's pretty good though. Got it all loaded up. Now keep in mind, I'm six foot and I got a long reach and I could barely cover the hole. So make sure you do this one at a party setting when you got your homies around, so you could use a little bit of teamwork. But without further ado, let's get this lit up, guys. Cheers. Hell yeah. Now I wouldn't keep trying to burn it all the way through because you gotta remember if those cherries go through, it's gonna hit that paper. And uh, you don't wanna be in hand paper. Unless it's a jet. But yeah, so there we go. That's the first way to make a steamroller using one of these socket wrenches. The next method that I'm going to show you guys, you know, this one's meant for, you know, stoners that got a couple bowls laying around and they just need to put it to use, make something cool out of it. Here you go. Go get yourself a bowl piece. And now you got a even more legit steamroller. So what you want to do, measure it and uh, make that hole a little bigger. 
It's, it's so big I could rest it on my shoulder. Like a rocket launcher. Don't go too crazy. Remember, you don't want to make that hole too big. But if you do, don't throw it away yet. Because the next step, I'll show you what to do if you make the hole a little too big. Looks about good. We'll force the rest in there. Boom. And that's all you do. Right there. Let's test the airflow. Perfecto mundo! Hell yeah. All loaded up, ready to go. I'm gonna move the camera for this one to get a good shot of me hitting it. So here we go. Cheers. it for that bowl so now I'm gonna show you a different way to make a steam roller this is for people that don't have no tools no bowls and all you got is a couple tubes and some foil this one's for you so let's say you made the hole too big getting way too much airflow but this is the only tube you had you don't really want to throw it away what you're going to do is go get yourself a nice piece of foil about this big. And you're going to wrap it around just like this. Make sure it's like halfway, you know. And that's it. Just roll it like a joint. Remember where that hole is? Make a little indention. Don't poke too hard. So now, get yourself something. I'm using this safety pen right here. So all you want to do is just start poking a bunch of holes. Now remember, if you wrap it a couple times like that, poke all the way through. You don't have to go crazy, you know. Just make sure there's a few. Seems good to me. Can't even see those holes. But, they're there. So now, just put your weed up there. Just be careful with this one, because, you know, it's not in a bowl. So, if it tilts, that weed is spilling. So, here we go. Let me load it up. All right. Got the weed on the foil. Wish me luck. Cheers. <sighs> Damn, that hit pretty good, actually. Shit. Now when you use this method, make sure you only pack like a hit or two at a time. I mean, do whatever you want, but that's what I would suggest. And also, 
this one could be a last resort method also because foil is also bad to smoke out of I heard you can get leukemia or some shit if you smoke out of foil a lot so don't do it unless you absolutely have to but that's how you make a gigantic steam roller with foil but I got one more method for you and for this one I'm gonna have to cut this in half and make a new steam roller hole I'm gonna put a joint in it Right, so for this next method, you're gonna wanna go roll a nice joint. Make sure it's a raw joint with the filter. It's the only way you should be smoking. But anyways, you wanna make a hole, not too big, just enough for that filter to fit. And if you make the hole too big, you can always use the foil method for this too. But there we go. Nice and snug, ready to smoke. Now, this is definitely my favorite method to use with the steam roller. So I guess this is technically four different ways on how to make a steam roller. So go be creative, use your mind, make some cool stuff, you know? So as I'm uh, smoking this, I'll teach you guys how to make the sploof. Why do they call it a sploof? I don't know. Weird name. Just one of those things, you know? But then again, who makes names anyways? Just one of those mysteries of the universe. So I'll show you how to make a sploof so you can hide the weed smell. Whenever you're in charge in the back, trying to take a couple hits. Cheers. like a perfect seal around that chain I think. Damn, hitting like a champ. It does have a little bit of a cardboard to take. But that's expected. So, to make a sploof, all you need is a little roll. And then you're going to need a handful of dryer sheets. You know, like five to ten. However, high your paranoia is, the more dryer sheets. And then get, get a couple paper towels too. You're gonna need a few paper towels and a rubber band. So the first step, 
to the spluff. Fill it with the dryer sheets, man. Look, so long I could just hold it in between my legs. So, get your toilet paper roll, right? Stuff it. Put some dry sheets in it. Boom. Boom. That's it. As many as you can. You know? Fill that shit up. Boom. So. Then you grab your paper towel. And you can fold it like that, whatever you want to do, don't matter. You can even fold it like in half again. And then cover that hole. And put your rubber there. Perfect. Now most people do it straight like that. But what I like to do is put another paper towel at the other end because you don't want your mouth touching those goddamn dry sheets so, oh just like that you can even put two or you know you can put as many as you want you can stuff a whole bunch in there but, uh, yeah should be good all right now all you do Take a hit. Not a lot of smoke comes out at all. That took a big hit right there. <coughs> <clears throat> smells like laundry up in the hot box, you know? So you want to use the spoon when you're smoking a bowl or a bong or something. Just taking a quick hit, trying to hide the smell. Keep it perfect. You know, taking me back. These things are taking me back. Middle school days. You know? Teenage years. Even when I was a child. Shit. I know you guys remember chasing each other around these when you were kids. Hitting each other. You know, hitting your brothers and sisters and shit. Having two fights. Shit, and this tube's like nothing. The tubes we had back in the day. When I was a kid. Shit. Those things might as well, might as well have been some uh, PVC pipes. Those things were hard. You hit someone in the head with that, knock them out. This one's just like a regular paper towel roll. Nothing like back in the day. Well, that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully I taught you something new. How to make a steamroller and a sploof. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. More videos on the way. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell. And hey, just lift it up. Stay stony. Till next time. Peace.